College Algebra, Topic 3.3 Lesson. Okay, we're doing composite functions, and we have two functions, the function f, which equals x squared plus 2x plus 1, and the function g, which equals x minus 5. We've already done a composite of f and g, so f composed with g means that g is the inner function. g being the inner function means that x minus 5 is the inner function. So everywhere we see x, we're going to substitute it with an x minus 5. So this becomes x minus 5 squared here. This becomes 2 times x minus 5, and then plus 1. We use um, binomial expansion on the x minus 5 to get our x squared minus 10x plus 25. Then we use distributive property to get our 2x minus 10, and then the plus 1. We collect like terms, we get x squared minus 8x plus 16. Now we're going to do g composed with f. G composed with f means that f is going to be the inner function. Or should we say that the inner function will be x squared plus 2x plus 1. So everywhere we see an x for g, we're going to substitute that with all of this. So instead of x minus 5, this becomes x squared plus 2x plus 1 minus 5. So the x got replaced with this entire, or substituted with all of this. And now we'll simplify and we'll get that g composed with f equals x squared plus 2x and minus 4. OK, next. g composed with g. This means that we're using g as the input function to g. Well, g itself, as the input function, will be x minus 5. So it essentially means that we're putting an x minus 5 into the function g. So everywhere we see an x in g, we're going to replace it with an x minus 5. So instead of this x and then the minus 5, sorry, instead of this x right here and then the minus 5, we're going to put x minus 5. We're going to substitute all that for x. So this will be x minus 5 and then the minus 5. Again, all this used to be x right here. And we can put these together and make this a minus 10. And this is g composed with g. Now, f composed with f. Again, this means that f is the inner function. That means that x squared plus 2x plus 1 will be the inner function. So let's put that inside, x squared plus 2x plus 1. This is all the inner function. So everywhere we see an x in the function f, we're going to put, we're going to substitute all of this. So this is going to equal um, all of this to the second power plus 2 times all of this and then the plus 1. Okay, now it's going to take a little bit of work because we have to um, expand this guy, and that's a trinomial. So um, let's do some foiling. x squared plus 2x plus 1, or some advanced foiling, should I say. x, x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. x squared times 2x is positive 2x cubed, and x squared times 1 is plus x squared. Now I'm going to multiply everything by 2x. So this by 2x gives me 2x cubed. This by 2x gives us 4x squared. And this by 2x gives us 2x. Now I'm going to multiply all of this by 1. Multiply this by 1, we get x squared. Multiply this by x1, we get 2x. Multiply this by 1, we get 1. So that leads us to. Um, an x to the fourth, a plus 4x cubed, a plus 6x squared, a plus 4x, and a plus 1. Then we're going to distribute this one right here, and that's going to lead us to a 2x squared, a 4x, and a plus 2. And now we'll bring down the plus 1. All right, so there it is. There's that monster. Now let's collect some like terms. We have x to the fourth. And we only have one x cubed term, so let's put it there. But the x squared terms, we have a couple of those right there, so that'll be 8x squared. The x's, we've got a 4x and a 4x, that makes um, 8x. And we have a 1, a 2, and a 1, all that makes 4. So this is the function f composed with f.